All right, so welcome to Summit. Did everybody have a good day yesterday? Yeah? How were the, how were the sessions? We haven't done workshops since like 2016, so were that, was that a good idea or was it too much? All right, I hear a lot of good things. Awesome. Well, we are so glad you all are here, uh, back with us in Bellevue for the what I believe is the 11th Summit, if, if math may not be my strongest subject, but I believe it's the 11th. Uh, the ninth one in person, there's two years that we don't talk about, but you know we acknowledge they happen, but that's about it. So before we get too further, you're probably going to get tired of hearing this, but again, for, without our sponsors, give our sponsors a big hand. Uh, I don't know if any of you are in the conference planning business, but running a conference is very, ex very expensive. So we could not do this without their support. And most importantly, in the mornings, uh, we couldn't have coffee without patching my PC. So when you see Ben and the gang, make sure to say thank you. Thanks. Like I said, not only is planning a conference very expensive, but it's very time consuming. And popular contrary belief, I actually do very little. Uh, so we have a great team of volunteers. I just want to take a few, minute, or a few minutes to kind of recognize people. So we have Missy in the back. Missy, say hi. So Missy, uh, Missy led the content, te content team this year. Uh, we had a whole slew of evaluators. I think we had 10 evaluators. We've never had those before. It's always just been Missy and Kevin helped last year, and then Missy and Warren. So that team, uh, if you're on the content team, raise your hand. I think most of you are here. If you haven't got your thank you gift, go see Missy. Uh, so we have, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll be standing right next to Missy, we have the one and only John, who's not wearing a tie. John is responsible for the bacon uh, that we have every morning. Uh, he is our logistics director, so everything from the placement of this podium to the placement of your chair to what we're having for breakfast and the lunch and the snacks and all of that, John coordinated all of that. He's like, I'm not doing anything. And he goes in March. He goes, oh, my God, there's so much to do. Because that's when that's, that planning starts. Whereas Missy's like, I'm really busy in November. And then December, she comes around. She goes, I'm, I'm done. Like, what do we do now? So, uh, and then one more. Uh, somewhere in here, Mr. Mike Knackis. Where's, there he is, our community director. Uh, this year, he's also our volunteer, our volunteer lead. So he's helping coordinate all the volunteers so that me, Missy, and John, and Mike aren't sitting at that table all week like we normally are in the past, so that we can enjoy some of the conference as well. So thanks to all of the volunteers who have helped out this week. Uh, Mike is also helping out with PowerShell Saturdays and a few other uh, blogging efforts that we have going on at PowerShell.org that we'll talk about in a little bit. So that is most of the volunteers. I think we got, we got, we got all, all the content and everything. Uh, and then uh, I, we'll do this later. All right. So the next thing I wanted to point out before we get too deep in anything is our friends over at Manning have put together a fantastic bundle deal for you all. You know, we keep talking about the Manning deal. You probably saw it online. But these are seven books that they're offering at 50% off uh, for, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I put a timer on this. This is going to be bad. Uh, so they're offering this, uh, this bundle deal. Each one is 50% off this week and I think maybe next week. You have to buy two, though. Uh, so then we also have two in a MEEP. If you don't know what a MEEP is, it's the Manning Early Access Program. That means the authors are still actively writing these books. And then once, if you buy the physical copy, they will mail it to you after it hits the printer. Uh, so that's the QR code. If you want, if you want to it'll take you straight there. If not, it is plastered all over social media. And I think there's also a link in the mobile app or the mobile website, you know, whatever. Let's talk about some stats for this year. We had, we had 200, 225 people here-ish, uh, which is the same as last year. So that's a good thing. We didn't go down from last year. Up 115 from our first in-person summit after the, after the big C word in 2022. There was 115, 225, and 225. But more importantly is the on-ramp program. We went from nine attendees in 2021, 12 attendees in 22, and now we have 25 in on-ramp this year. Uh, for those of you who don't know what OnRamp is, uh, you can go talk to Jeff and Mike, Jeff Hicks and Mike Robbins. They're running OnRamp. Essentially, what the OnRamp is is an introduction to an IT career. So we found a long time ago that there is that there is a problem, especially in the conference world. Like we had this conference, we have more kind of high 
more expert level uh, stuff. We don't have a lot of entry level content, especially with the user groups that kind of fizzled out after the big C word. Uh, there, there's really no place to get the introductory material outside of like a DevOps days or something like that. So we're like, well, how can we, how can we fix the pipeline problem? Because you don't, you don't want to stay in your position forever. Ideally, you should be trying to move up, either up or out, or at some point you're going to retire, and someone's got to take your place. So how do we get that? How do we fix that pipeline? So that's where OnRamp came out of. A lot of yesterday they did an all-day PowerShell workshop with uh, Jeff and Mike, and then throughout this week you can actually look in the schedule, uh, room 409. You can't go to any of the sessions, but you can at least see the titles of them. Uh, they're doing things like introduction to pester testing introduction to get, I think there maybe might be a hands-on Ansible lab or something similar to that. So they're getting introduced to all these, inter, all these entry level content so that they, next year they can come and sit in the sessions with everyone else. I know we have, how many people were in OnRamp last year that are back? I know there's at least five, some people are kind of shy. And then of course we have, I'm not gonna point people out, but we have someone who came in 21 and she has been back in 21, 22, and, or 22 23 and 24. So this is her second round in the, second round in the big summit. So the on-ramp program is working. We are seeing uh, great success. I know we always hear at least once a year, someone's like, I got a promotion at work. I, I think one person doubled double their, double their pay, take home for their family. Or they're like, I got, an, I got a new job and a new company. They're paying more. Benefits are great. And it's all because of what they learned on-ramp. So that's where a portion of uh, that $2,000 that you spent to come here, a portion that goes, we actually paid for six people uh, to come and join us in the on-ramp. That is flight, hotel, and five nights and five nights, yeah, flight ticket and five nights in the hotel. So we were able to give, I said, six people that opportunity this year, which is another fantastic opportunity. Uh, I'm not gonna point people out, but uh, they're, they're here in this room. They're here with us. All right. A little bit more about this year. We have 74 set, yeah, no, that's not right. Yeah, 74 sessions, I think that's right. We'll see, Miss, I don't know. That does not sound right. Anyways, there are a lot of sessions going on, going on this week. We have 53 speakers uh, this year. That is up from last year. Last year, a lot of our speakers had to do doubles or even triples. But as you can see, of 18 of these 53 speakers are first-time speakers, and there are only a handful of people who have one or more than one session. I think it's less than 10. So that kind of talks about the community that the power, the, yeah, the community uh, within the power, the power show community as a whole. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, kind of speaks volumes to what the PowerShell community is and how we want to keep it growing. Because it, 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 you know, I'm not gonna lie, we kind of fills it out for a little bit. We all got we all got burnt out during uh, you know during those last, those two years in 20 and 21. But we're, it's good to see the community growing, community being active. You ask, well, what is the PowerShell community? Like, well, you saw it last night. It is hanging out here. We're hanging out in the courtyard. It's the hallway track that you see. That is the PowerShell community. I can come here from the time I wake up the time I go to bed and I can talk PowerShell all day long and not get tired of it. And the person next to you is like, yeah, that's a good idea. And they're taking notes. In a nutshell, that is what the PowerShell community is. And that is why I believe the PowerShell community is the best community out, out here, better than, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna name names, but I think it's better than all, than all the other communities, <laughs> better than all the other, uh, other online communities, the most welcoming community at that. So give yourselves a hand for being a part of the community. All right, uh, so we, uh, I jumped ahead, so some of these slides are gonna be out of order, because I, now everything I just said about on-ramp, imagine I said it now. And I forgot to ask Jeff if he wanted to come up, so that's why it says that. All right, like I said, uh, actually someone said something to me uh, last night. Uh, they, I'm like, oh, like, this is like a big PowerShell conference, and they're like, no, like, this is what has the concept of an unconference. I don't know if anybody familiar with an unconference. Like, yes, there's content, uh, which is why we call it a conference, because we have scheduled content, we have, the schedule's been, re been released for months, and then we have, there's structured everything, but the unconference part of it is what we call the hallway track. It's where breakfast, breakfast and lunch, and we, you know, got the coffee cart outside, you can con congregate, ask these questions, continuing the conversations that you had in your sessions with your speakers out in the hallway. Uh, don't do it in the hallway, go to room 403. The Maidenbauer people get mad if you congregate in the hallway. Uh, so if you don't know about room 403, that's our social lounge. There's a little bit of power in there. Uh, and then that's also where the coffee and the drinks are there uh, around that area. But I was like, oh, I, like, I never actually thought of this event as an, as an unconference. I was like, oh, well, well that, that's pretty cool. I've also heard it referred to as a 
very large user group because that's the feel that, that this has. This is not an Ignite. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not Cisco Live. It's not VMworld. It's not. It's not even. Not even Tech Mentor. Like it doesn't have that corporate, a corporate vibe and corporate feel to it. Would you all agree? Like very welcoming. And more importantly, what about the food? Those short ribs yesterday, right? All right, don't hold me to this, but I believe there are short ribs again today. If not, there's one day this week, there's another short ribs, I promise. All right, so let's take a look, a little bit of look ahead of uh, what the rest of the week has in store. So yesterday was uh, all day workshops, you know, it's fine. Uh, oh yeah, what about the, all right. I must say, I'm a little disappointed in most of you. The arcade yesterday sat mostly empty all night. And I thought, in this whole room of nerds, that the arcade was going to have lines waiting to play these vintage video games. So I just want to point that out there. How many of you played the arcade games? Good, good. Uh, poker, we got Leslie. Leslie won our poker game last night. Turned $6,000 bucks into $45,000 bucks. Ah, some of you have young kids. <laughs> All right, so today, uh, as soon as I'm done jabbering, so at 9.30, uh, we're going to have uh, Abby. Abby, raise your hand, say hi. Abby's going to come and give us uh, a keynote, uh, our keynote address, followed real closely after that by a coffee break. Uh, uh, the rumor has that food is going to magically appear out here, so we'll, we'll see what that is. And then we're going to have the PowerShell team going to come up. Michael Green and the team are going to come up and show us a lot of the new and exciting things that they've been work that they currently are working on or have finished and something they want to uh, bring bring lot bring to you and also so the rest of the team is going to be here so we have Steve we have I don't remember names I'm not even going to try because I'm not going to forget someone they're going to get they're going to get their feelings hurt and then after lunch uh, so we're here until one o'clock and then after lunch we're going to go back upstairs for more breakout sessions uh, now first time attendees right how many I think a large, oh, that's a lot more than I thought. Uh, I don't actually know if it was ever mentioned anywhere, but how many of you have uh, session, fom or session FOMO or session anxiety? Like you can't figure out what session to go to. I know that was a big problem yesterday, yes. The good news is every session is gonna be rec is recorded. It's gonna be posted on our YouTube channel completely free. Share it with your friends. Bring your friends with, them, with you next year. Like this is the content that I saw in person and not only did I go see this 45 minute presentation, I went to the social lounge and hung out with the speaker for another hour and kept the conversation going. Uh, so they're gonna be post posted on our YouTube channel. You can go back and see all of the previous content that we have up there, all the way, uh, there are some recordings from 2015 and 2016. Uh, we don't promise the quality, but our friends over at Confreaks in the back, give Confreaks a hand. They do an amazing job at recording all of our content, posting it on posting online for us, much better than uh, you know, than what we can do on our own. So they always do a good job, and we appreciate it. We've partnered with them since 2018, I believe. All right, so tonight you may have, you may have saw a slide slide similar list rotating around during during breakfast. So tonight there is no structured activity tonight. I know some of you are like, finally, you know, we had Sunday night, and then we had Monday night, and then we'll talk about Wednesday night. So like, you need a break, and we get that. So tonight is what we call our community dine around. Now here's how this works. If you feel like socializing, like sometimes you need a mental break, and I get that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but if you want to continue these conversations, hop into dinner tonight in Slack. Uh, that's where all of these conversations happen. Find some friends. I highly suggest you make a reservation for dinner tonight because there are 220 of you that are going to go eat at once on top of the people who live here in Bellevue already. So I would suggest you make reservations. If not, just plan to wait an hour or so for your table. Grab a group of friends, go eat, go have a meal, continue talking about whatever it is that you want to talk about, and have a good time. All these conversations are going to happen either in the hallway or in dinner tonight. Uh, if you want to lead a group, say, hey, I'm going to go to Duke's at 6 o'clock. Meet me in the courtyard lobby, and we're going to walk over. Uh, or uh, the pump house is also a really great place. Uh, they don't take reservations, but you can just walk, walk right around, walk right around from the hotel. There are hundreds of places. I know there's some locals here that can give you some great recommendations. I know Mark, Mark, not Mark, yeah, can give you, Kevin, not Mark, Kevin. You're looking at me like, huh? Uh, Kevin gives you some great recommendations. He lives right down the road. Greg lives right down the road, can also give you a whole bunch of recommendations. 
Uh, if, if you like seafood, though, I, I do suggest Dukes. Anybody been to Dukes yet? Or uh, Dick's Burgers, if you, like, if you like burgers. I think Corey got 15 last night. Not for himself. Uh, <laughs> Corey had a car. He went and got it for other people. But uh, I, wanted, I didn't want people to think Corey ate 15 burgers on his own. Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to have breakfast in here from 8 to 9, as usual. And then we're going to go upstairs, uh, up the escalators to, to the fourth floor. We're going to have our 90-minute deep dive sessions. They're not quite as intense as the Monday sessions, but we always put them early in the morning because we know what happens in the afternoon. Like the brain starts bleeding out of the ears, and it's just, uh, by the end of the day, we're done. So we got these technical deep dives in the mornings. Going to come back down here for lunch, then back upstairs uh, for breakout sessions in the afternoon. And then the close, uh, our closing party. This, uh, well, I guess a lot of you knew. So how many were here last year? That's a, that's a lot smaller group of hands. So we rent out a portion of, uh, it's called the Forum Social House. We have the top, the other, the half of it, so the top golf, and we had the small little mini room. I think Vanda's floating around somewhere. Vanda's starting a D&D game. Yeah, I think there is a channel in Slack. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, the RPG night. So if you're interested in do, doing that, hop in there. Vanda's or, Vanda will organize that. It's a nice little quiet room off, off tucked in the back so you don't get all that, all that loud, loud, obnoxious noise that they have pumping through the place. But we have top golf bays, there's pool tables, uh, and then we also get uh, mini golf. So there's a 12 course uh, putt, mini golf putt putt in there. Mandatory pitcher with the unicorn. That will make more sense tomorrow. I should have put a, I should have put a pitcher in this. Oh, is it, is it there? Oh yeah, that's yeah, mandatory pitcher with the unicorn. So, uh, and we, and we wanna see that on social media. I don't have a slide for this, but if you're going to post on social media, make sure you use the hashtag PSH Summit. Uh, it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Like, we'll, we'll find it at some point. Uh, and then, of course, you can know, you know always tag us. We're, we're on X and formerly known as Twitter and LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. Aha, you bet you didn't know about those. Uh, so tag, find us on social media. Tag us. We want to, we want to get all these pictures so that we can help you relive, this, relive these memories uh, next year so that when the tickets go on sale next year, uh, I don't, know, I don't know which one of y'all does this. I don't want to call anyone out. But the people who bought tickets last week, uh, we need to have a chat. Uh, because, uh, anyways, buy your tickets early next year. So that's from 7 to 10 uh, over there. If you, uh, it's, a very, it's a very quick walk. It's about a 10-minute walk. Uh, you can also take the circuit little. It's not the bus that was here. Anybody do a selfie last night? Okay, a few people. It is not the little selfie station that was here. It's, just, it's a little golf cart that runs around. Uh, you can get it online, uh, you get, get the app, and there's the one shot and all that good stuff. Or is it just walk? It's not far. Oh, hey, it moves. All right, and then Thursday, uh, again, 90-minute deep dives up uh, in the morning, breakout sessions in the afternoon. I forgot to put it on there. Closing, we're going to have lightning demos. Where's Phil? All right, Phil is also very disappointed. Only six of you have signed up for a lightning demo so far. So if you're, well, what is a lightning demo? That's a great question. Some of you, not, not some of you, all of you have a problem that you have solved at work. And you may not, how many of you think I have absolutely nothing I can share with anybody? How many of you kind of, kind of think, okay, you don't have to raise your hand. Uh, but I, I've heard that from a lot of people in the room already. They're like, I, there's nothing I can share. Like I, all this content here, I can't share anything. That is entirely incorrect. You have something that you can share and you can do it, you only hit five minutes, no slides, just get up there, you know, get, get your VS Code ready, just, or Windows Terminal, do a little thing real quick. There's not that much pressure on you, and if you mess up, it's fine, we all, we all mess up. How many of you have your terminal uh, error colors not red? Like, mine's green. Yeah, anyways, if you get red screen on, if you get red text on the screen, it's fine, it happens, we're all human. But you have a story that you can share, you have a problem that you have fixed, and other, other people have that same problem, I can guarantee it. There's someone in this room that has the exact same problem as you have, and someone has fixed it, and you need to go find that person who has fixed that problem so that they can, so they can help you. Does that make sense? All right, how many people are gonna sign up for a lightning demo now? All right, we got three, three more people. I tried, Phil. Phil can do a better job at lunch. All right, and the last thing to kind of help close me out, because I've already over time, is, this is not, so we talked about, this is not a conference. We're more kind of, it's more kind of an unconference type thing. 
But this is also not a technical event. This is a career-oriented event. Every year, I talk, we talked about the on-ramp people, how every year someone's like, I got a new job, I got a great raise, I can provide better for my family. That's what the rest of the conference is about too. Yes, the content is great. The content is recorded. You can go watch that online. You know what's not recorded? The hallway track. So make sure you're taking your time and, and investing in these, networking, in these networking relationships. Make friends. Uh, you're like, oh, I'm chatting on Slack. We're good. You're going to forget about Slack in about a month, and you're all going to go inactive, and you're not going to get notifications. So make sure you're exchanging contact information on somewhere. If you, you can stay in Slack all you want. Like You'll be there forever and ever until we delete the Slack, uh, the Slack workspace. But exchange contact emails, phone numbers, LinkedIn requests. Do something. Make friends. Make connections. because. What I really would like to see, for, especially for all of you new, new time attendees next year, I want at least one of you to come up and say, because of this event, I now have a better job, I have more money, I can provide better for my family, because that is what the purpose of this conference is. It is not to provide you with technical content, it's to help make you a better person and to help make you uh, be able to go further in your careers. Make sense? All right. We are going to take a eight minute break so they're going to come and clean the tables and then Ivy's going to come back up here at 9:30 for our keynote. Thank you very much.